are you YouTube? This is Saik here. And today I'm going to show you how to enable your DirectX features. Enabling your DirectX features will allow you to play your 3D games again. It will fix the alpha blending issue that uh, that does not allow you to play your games, your 3D games. To do so, first of all, you need to check which type of DirectX version your computer is having. To do so, you need to go to the search option. For Windows 7, just go to your start menu and type in DXDAG. For Windows XP users, you just need to go to the run option and click type in DXDAG and click OK. Actually, I'm just going to show you. And open run. DXDAG is already written. So I'm going to click OK now. DXDAG is a direct text diagnostic tool. It will tell you every information you need to know about your direct text, system information, your graphic driver, everything. Right. Here, under system information, you need to look for direct text version. As of June 2015, the latest DirectX version is DirectX 11. So just make sure you have the latest DirectX version without uh, before process uh, before proceeding to the main uh, trick whatever. Now we need to go to the display tab in DXDIAG. Now you need to look under device and now you gotta search for name. Mostly this problem occurs on computer having Standard VGA adapter. My computer has Intel or HD Graphics 4000, but your computer sh most probably should have standard VGA adapter. Now you need to look under DirectX features. Direct Draw Acceleration, Direct 3D Acceleration, AGP Texture Acceleration. My computer says enabled, but your computer, it should say not available. Now, to fix this problem, I'm just gonna exit DXDAG. For if you have Intel processor in your computer, you need to go to the Intel website and download Intel Driver Update Utility. Intel Driver Update Utility will automatically find the best driver for your computer, and you can download it. And the and you can just download the driver, and the problem will fix. And if you're AMD users, go to AMD website. AMD website has a special um, option in it that will automatically detect the best driver for your computer. Download it, and your issue will be solved. Now, to check which, to check whether you have AMD or Intel, follow the steps. You need to go to the control panel. Then you need to click on System and Security. Look out, uh, look for System, and click on it. It will give you the basic information about your computer. Which windows it's supposed, the rating, the processor, install memory, system type, pen and touch, computer name, full computer name, computer discrimination, work group, windows activation, windows activator, pro and product ID. Now you need to look under system and look out and, and, and look for pro processor. My computer, it says Intel R Core trademark i5 3210M CPU at the rate of 2.50 GHz. You do not look at the other information, just look if it is Intel or AMD. My computer is uh, Intel, so I'm gonna first show how to do it for Intel. Uh, you need to go to the Intel website. The links will be provided in the description. This, uh, when, uh, the links will be provided for DirectX version 2. When you open the Intel website, it says Intel Download Center. In, in my case, it says update drivers, but for you, it must say Intel uh, download Intel driver update utility. When I bought this computer, it had it pre it had pre-installed the it had pre-installed Intel Core graphic uh, driver, so I do not have Intel driver update utility on this computer. But I know what to do in it. You need to open your Intel driver update utility. Then on the tab menu, you should search. Uh, Hover your mouse on each of the option. You uh, in each of the option on the main option menu. Hover your mouse over it. One particular option should say auto detect. You need to click on the auto detect and Intel driver update utility utility will automatically search the best driver for your computer. Once they show you the once they show you uh, which driver is the best for you, just download it and your issue will be solved. And the most important thing, after you download and install the driver suggested to you by Intel Driver Update Utility, you must reboot your computer. Without rebooting, the uh, 
the installation will not work. For AMD users, you need to go to the AMD side, uh, and uh, the links will be provided in the description. You need to look out for automatically de detect and install your driver. My, as you know, as I showed you, my computer has a uh, Intel Core processor, so I don't know which what kind of problem this will cause if I click on the automatically detect and install your driver. So I'm not gonna do it. So I don't think there will be any other uh, information you need to know after clicking automatically detect and install your driver. So just click it, uh, download and install the driver AMD has AMD suggested for you and your issue should be solved. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding this, please feel free to comment, ask them in the comment section, comment section below. Please subscribe for more of my tutorials tutorials please like this video if you found it helpful like your one like helps me so much you don't even realize that so thanks for watching guys i hope you found it helpful